Once again, some of the good people in Hollywood, people like Mel Gibson and Jim Caviezel, have Hollywood elites absolutely terrified, and that is a good thing. Now, we have a lot to get into today in regards to this, and also tied in with that is the breaking news that we just got about the Hollywood Oscars, where all of the elites get up on stage and pretend that they are the best people in society, when we all know that that is not the case. And they are very terrified right now. Hollywood elites are absolutely quaking in their boots, and this makes it absolutely clear that, that is the case now we just got like i said the nominations for the oscars today and some of the nominees for best picture are things like barbie killers of the flower moon oppenheimer and the list goes on and on now what is the movie that you see on here that is missing that absolutely deserves to be nominated if we were looking at it from an objective standpoint a film that was a huge cultural moment last year something that was a cultural sensation a, a movement and that is, of course, Sound of Freedom, a film the Hollywood has repeatedly tried to shut down time and time again. Now, why would the elites try to shut down a movie like Sound of Freedom, a film that, of course, deals with a very heavy subject of trafficking and everything else? And... Well, I think we all know the, the answer to that. I think we know why Hollywood wants to suppress that film and not allow people to see that film because it brings to light many of the things that Hollywood is, of course part of in many different ways. Sound of Freedom unsurprisingly snubbed at Oscars, not a single nomination. Now, some people might say, oh, well, it's because this film, according to critics, had a 57% rotten, but as you can see from the audience score, it had a 99% which is basically a almost like a perfect score for a film. This film resonated with audiences. Now, a lot of the critics out there happen to be elites, happen to be woke elites that are part of the Democrat base who absolutely despise this movie, who are minions of Hollywood, who will try to, of course, sour the name of movies like Sound of Freedom. And that should be a telling sign. That should be more of a referendum on the critics more than it is on the movie itself. Now, when I see this, when I see critics that hate this movie, when I see people that hate this movie, it just makes me wonder, what are you trying to hide? Why do you hate this movie? It kind of makes me have a, a very suspicious feeling about you as a person more than it does about anything else. And as we know, Hollywood, has, of course, like Disney, Disney, for instance, and uh, we've talked about Disney recently and some of the things that they've done, including things that they've done with uh, a certain island that we have been talking about recently as well. But Disney was one of these studios that was trying to shut down Sound of Freedom in any way that they could. They did not want this movie to get made, okay? They did not want people to see this movie. They did not want this movie to wake people up. And of course, that is what we do here on the channel. What we do here is we try to wake people up to what is happening in Hollywood and the cultural impact that it has. Because the culture is extremely important and we need to recapture the culture. And that is one of the most important things that we need to do. So make sure that you share this video so that we can continue to wake people up to the truth about Hollywood. Now, when it comes to Sound of Freedom, of course, good human beings like Elon Musk pairs up with Mel Gibson to expose Hollywood's creepy secrets and support Sound of Freedom. We have all heard of the film Sound of Freedom. It is said to be a film that exposes one of the Hollywood's deepest secrets. And uh, this is an interesting video that was kind of made that was about that. And then we also, of course, had uh, Mel Gibson, who had a lot to say about Sound of Freedom, who was a big supporter of the movie and was trying to get people to go see this film. Mel Gibson, one of the very, very few, probably in like three or four actors in Hollywood who's actually out there promoting this film and trying to get people to go see it. That should tell you what kind of a person Mel Gibson is and what kind of a person or what kind of people the rest of the Hollywood elites are for trying to silence this film. This is what Mel Gibson had to say about the film and one of the many clips that he had to say about Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom has a message filled with hope and inspiration. The film sparks conversations and encourages people to help end trafficking in their own community. Go see it. Now to me, that seems like a, that's a pretty good reason for this film being nominated for best picture. <laughs> like it sparks conversations. It has a cultural impact as it clearly did. And it also is a well-made movie 
and it also has a very moral message. But of course, Hollywood is not very interested in the moral messages anymore, are they? And they definitely are not interested in this topic whatsoever. Sound of Freedom was completely snubbed, and that is absolutely pathetic and disgusting to me in many different ways. I, I'm not surprised by this whatsoever, but it is a very telling sign about where Hollywood is at, especially with these different elites. Now, there's a lot of celebrities that are also losing their minds right now in regards to the fact that Barbie got snubbed in many different ways which I find to be absolutely hilarious. Greta Gerwig, Margot Robbie, Barbie Oscars snubs sparks sexism outrage. Ah! <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's so hilarious. But the most, the funniest thing about this is that Ryan Gosling, who plays Ken in the film, was nominated for Best Supporting Actor, which once again just shows that the patriarchy always wins at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So, uh... <laughs> Oh my gosh, so funny. So anyway, <laughs> with that being said, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. What does this tell you about Hollywood? I want to hear in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.